If you are planning to add air conditioning and an electric fan to your hot rod, you'll need two things to complement your AC system. The first is a relay to reduce the load from the electric fan, and the second is a trinary switch. Trinary switches provide pressure protection for the AC compressor, but also allow you to supply power to your fan when the compressor is turned on. This means a trinary switch allows for a single relay to control an electric fan regardless of whether or not the AC compressor is engaged. In addition to the switch itself, the trinary switch requires a few more wires outside of the standard electric fan setup to function. As with any fan relay, the trinary switch setup requires an ignition, battery, and ground. For purposes of our universal 40 amp relay kit, the red wire will be battery hot, the pink wire will be 12 volt ignition, and the black wire will be ground. The orange wire will supply power to the fan through the relay. Now that we have this half of the circuit mapped, it's simple to lay out the extra wires for the trinary switch. Your AC system will require a 12 volt switched feed from inside the vehicle. When the air conditioning is turned on, this sends power to the trinary switch. The trinary switch monitors system pressure but also incorporates the connections that allow the fan to be turned on. The trinary switch requires a 12 volt feed that is supplied when the air conditioning is turned on inside the car. A 12 volt wire from the trinary switch to the compressor clutch, a dedicated chassis ground, and a common ground at the fan temperature sending switch. When pressure is detected, the trinary switch connects power from the AC switch to the compressor clutch. Since the trinary switch and fan temperature switch share a ground, it makes it possible for the fan to turn on in two different ways. The first is when the air conditioning is off, but the engine reaches the proper temperature to activate the fan. We also want the fan to run when the air conditioning is turned on, which is where the trinary switch really comes into play. The trinary switch wiring runs in parallel to fan circuit, but since the fan wiring and trinary switch wiring share the same ground, this means the fan will turn on when the air conditioning is switched on from inside the car. The shared ground feed from the trinary switch is normally open, but when the switch sees a predetermined pressure, will close to allow the relay to turn the fan on. With all connections in place, a single electric fan can cool both the radiator and air conditioning condenser. In addition to following us on YouTube, please check us out on Facebook, Carbuff Network, Instagram, and AmericanAutoWire.com.